Hello YouTubers out there, this is Jerry the Movies with your host Jerry Saravia and I saw last night the trailer and the international trailer for Django Unchained which is a new Quentin Tarantino film that's coming out on Christmas of 2012, later this year. And uh, this is a uh, what people like to call a genre, a genre uh, mashup between the, um, of black black exploitation and the Western, and a lot of uh, I've heard some read some comments that people feel a little uncomfortable with that because uh, you know it's risky. Well, it's nothing new. Uh, in the 70s, in the early 70s, Fred Williamson, uh, for lack of a better example, did a few of these type of pictures. Uh, mixing in uh, black exploitation with the Western genre. Um, I can't actually, I can only name one that ha it has an alternate title called The Black Bounty Hunter. Uh, the other title would be probably too offensive for people to hear and I'm not going to repeat it, so let's just leave it at that. Um, so it seems to be Tarantino's film an homage to those type of pictures in addition to the cult films that starred Franco Nero back in the late 60s called Django uh, and its uh, sequels. I think he did one or two sequels to that. And that had a uh, gunfighter uh, in the West, the Old West, carrying around a coffin uh, that had a gun in it. So <laughs> um, I could see where Tarantino would find the appeal and also Sergio Leone. I know he's a huge fan as I am of Sergio Leone who did uh, the type of westerns that Tarantino would have done if Tarantino existed back in the, in the 60s uh, as a uh, film director. So it has a great cast, Django Unchained. Uh, Franco Nero, by the way, has a small cameo, apparently. Jamie Foxx plays a slave. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio is the villain. Christoph Waltz is, uh, I guess, a gunfighter who... It's kind of like a revenge story, it sounds like. And uh, anyway, Christoph Waltz, you would know from Inglorious Bastards, Tarantino's other pick, or last film, uh, where Christoph Waltz played a uh, truly evil Nazi um, and won the Academy Award for it. So, of course, you know, he's a great actor. There's no question. Uh, yeah, there's uh, this is a hell of a cast. Uh, James Ramar, who's one of my favorite uh, 80s character actors, uh, you would know as the uh, bad guy in... Uh, 48 Hours. Um, he also appeared as a very sensitive cop in uh, Drugstore Cowboy. He is a, is a tremendous actor. What a presence, that guy. Um, I noticed a few other faces. Samuel Jackson, who was featured in the international trailer, but not in the regular trailer. I don't know why. Um, who knows? Uh, anyway, Kerry Washington. Um, so, you know, it looks uh, it looks good. I don't know, I can't really judge a film until it comes out, but it's got all the characteristics of a Tarantino picture, there's no question. Um, how it's going to play with audiences will be interesting to see, because we live in a very strange time. Uh, we know racism exists, but it's like acknowledging it uh, in the mainstream nowadays. Acknowledging racism is considered racist. So, <laughs> making a movie that deals with slavery uh, is is a tough subject. You know, it seemed like it was bad enough last year, which I didn't think it would be, with a film to help. Admittedly, a different type of film than I'm sure Tarantino's picture would be, but it dealt with uh, black maids during the 60s, and somehow there's this feeling that if you do a story about that, that we're, that, like, we're past that. We can't be doing stories uh, of that nature anymore. And I, I say, well, why not? Uh, you know, the, those things never went away. There are all kinds of stories. It's, it's like the Holocaust. It's like uh, any Holocaust that we've had in past centuries. Um, racism is prevailing, uh, and we can't deny that. So I'm not sure that will be Tarantino's focus. I think he's just trying to do an entertaining movie. It will probably be very violent, but uh, it looks like it has well-drawn characters. So, hey, you know, regardless of the subject matter, um, I don't think he's going to trivialize the slavery necessarily. I'm not sure he's out, you know, trying to make the equivalent of something like 1989's Glory either, uh, or Roots. I mean, I don't think he's trying to do that type of film. But um, it'll be interesting to see, uh, and I look forward to it. So I don't know. I like Tarantino. The only thing by Tarantino I don't like is uh, Four Brooms. It was a short film that he did for that uh, anthology. Um, 
That was back in 1995. So I've enjoyed everything he's done. Death Proof, Grindhouse, uh, you know, Inglorious Bastards is one of his very best films, I thought. Uh, and of course, the Cream of the Crop, Pulp Fiction. Um, Reservoir Dogs, well, you know, you, you, you all know the uh, films he's done. Jackie Brown is a wonderful movie, too. Very, very character-oriented. So, I look forward to it, and we'll see what uh, what happens in Christmas of 2012. But I guarantee you there'll be some controversy, for sure. Uh, we'll see. So, until then, I'm Jerry the Movies with your host, Jerry Sadovia, signing off. <laughs>